high class karibu na tuendelee na vipindi vyetu vya leo tunaenda kwenye chemistry kipande topic ambayo inaitwa inorganic chemistry ni topic ambayo na dili na elements e, ni topic ambayo na dili na elements unaanza kuisoma toka muda form 3 pale form 4 bado unazidi kuzungumziwa pale kale ka periodic table kadopo na kasoma kale kwa sababu hii inaenda kukachimba kwa ndani ukiangalia pale properties za kila elementi kwa kila group kwa kila law chemical reaction zake kwa ni moja kati ya topic kwanza ni max nyingi paper 2 na paper 1 sasa hizo wameyameshia kwa hii new format kwa ni moja kati ya topic ambayo kielewa itakusaidia sana kwenye performance yako nzuri ya kemia kama calculations na kushinda kielewa tu hii ni organic na kuwa na kuongezea max pamoja ukifuatilia na vipindi vya organic ambavyo tumeviweka huko na kuwa ni rahisi kwa kwa leo tutaenda kufanya utangulizi wa inorganic chemistry kama tunavyoona topic hapo inorganic chemistry lakini ni kwa advanced level kuna terminology ya kwanza hapo kwenye hii inorganic chemistry na hiyo terminology inasema periodicity tunaposema periodicity is a phenomena of repetition of similar properties after a certain interval of time kwamba yule kujirudia rudia kwa tabia fulani ya element sasa ndio tunapoongelea kuja kule kujirudia kwa elements kuja tuone sasa tuje tukiangalia huko kujirudia kwa tabia kuja tukiangalia kuconsider periodic table of elements kama hiyo hapo hii inatumia namba ukitumia okay, namba inaenda hivyo moja ile kuja kutumia zile roman kuna same neka roman ile group 1 a afu kama hali fulani zinabadilika tena na kuja group 1 b ndio tumeja zile zimeishia nani afu zimeendelea tena mpaka kwa kwenye 18 sasa hapa hii imeenda kwa namba hapa juu kwa hiyo tukisema group la kwanza ni ili ili group la 18 la helium kwa hiyo tunapoja kwenye hiyo repetition of similar properties unajua ukiangalia ndio kufika huko mbele kuona kwamba utakuta huyu lithium hapo huyu lithium hapo ana ana properties ambazo zinafanana na magnesium hapo sasa huko kujirudia ulie kwa hizi tabia unajua kuangalia unajua ku, ku study sasa kwa nini zijirudie rudie sasa hizo tabia zingine ziwe na size ambazo zinafanana ziwe na polarity ambayo inafanana ziwe na magnetic property ambazo zinafanana sasa kwenye kipati cha kwanza huko tutaenda tutaenda kusoma hizi olevo lisha element 20 sasa hapa tunaenda kuongeza element kumi tu hizi hapa 21 hii scandium mpaka hii zinc ya 30 hizi hizi kumi zilizoongezeka zinaitwa transition element transition metals hiyo hapo unaona hata kwenye scale yake hapa amekuelekezea kwamba hii ni transition metals hizi kwa transition metals hapo tena tutaisha hapa 30 ndio kwa advance tutasoma element 30 tu zingine hizo kijua kwa ajili ya kujiongeza katika mtihani wako hapo kwa tukirudi hapo kwenye mada yetu hapo nasema kwa hapo definition yake mini definition ambayo nimekupa kwa rais unaweza kusema periodicity is a repetition of similar properties after a certain interval of time hapo nasema any phenomena is said to be periodic if the phenomena produce similar situation at similar interval the term periodicity in chemistry refer to the recurrence of atomic properties at regular interval ni kile kile kitu kama nakiongelezea hapo sasa tuje kwenye kitu ambacho kinaitwa periodic table of the element periodic table is a table of the chemical element arranged to illustrate pattern of recurring chemical and physical properties kwamba ni ile table ambayo table ya chemical elements ambayo imewekwa hiyo table periodic table ambayo nasemea ni hiyo kwamba hii ni table ambayo imekuwa constructed or the recurring ile similar properties kwamba hapa kwenye hizi element hapa kwanza zimepangwa kwenye periodic table sasa kama hapa zimepangwa hazikupangwa tu ovyo ovyo kwao alispanga according to the chemical properties ambapo kuja kuiona law ambayo ilitumia ku arrange element huko mbele inaitwa modern periodic law hapo kwa jambo kuelezea periodic table nasema ina contain elements such as oxygen iron gold silver zile ziko nyingi tu scandium titanium magnesium sodium rubidium hapo ziko nyingi kwa hizi zingine radioactive hizi nasikia niam niam lenium osium hizo ni radioactive element hizo sasa kabla periodic table hii tunayojua ile leo tulionayo haijaendelea sema the provided periodic table provide the provide a meaning arranging all the known element and even those 
yet, yet not be discovered kwamba hii periodic table ina so 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 element zote zinazojulikana hapa kwa mpaka sasa zimejulikana element 118 lakini ukija kuangalia ukija kuangalia vizuri hapa hii table inaweza inaonyesha vizuri kuna ukija ukiangalia zile periodic table kubwa unaweza kuona same zina magepe sema kwa hapa nashinda kuona haraka haraka utakuwa na same zina magepe yale magepe yanaonyesha kabisa hapa kuna element bado haijawa discovered hawa bado au zingine zipo kwenye uchunguzi kwa kama zipo kwenye uchunguzi waweza kaziingiza moja kwa moja hapa kwa hiyo kuna umu kuna mag, kuna space za discovered element hapa pia kuna scape, space za discovered element zipo mnazo zote kwa hiyo ndio achwa na kielezo hapo kwenye hiyo statement ya mwisho hapo kwanza nikwambia kabla hii hii table tunaiona sasa hizi haijaligundulika kwa kuna table zingine zilikuwa hapo zinatumika kipindi kile cha zamani lakini wanasayansi wa size wakakaa waka construct hiyo table. Kwanza tukianza na table ya kwanza hii inaitwa Newlands periodic table. Newlands periodic table put forward the law of octave. According to the law of octave, then the elements are arranged in the order of their relative atomic mass. Kwamba huyu Newland alarrange his element in the order of relative atomic mass. Kwamba kwa akianza akawa na calculate relative atomic mass za hizi element afa nakuja anazipanga sasa hiyo ndio ilikuwa periodic table ya newland so any element has properties similar to those of the element 8 placed in front of it and 8 placed behind of it we call it the law of octave because they look like eight note of music sasa since newland octave group did the element whose properties repeat periodically his table was called the periodic table sababu ile properties kazi zinajirudia yani baada baada interval fulani ambayo ni common ile interval inayojulikana zile elements kazi zinajulikana zinajirudia wakaita wakaamua ite periodic table kwa sababu inaenda kwa interval ya time hiyo periodic periodic sema weakness ya hiyo newlands periodic table ilikuwa ina weakness hiyo table sema some element which are dissimilar ya classified together element unakuta zifanani kama anachukua sodium anamweka na anamoja anamchukua na scandium anamweka pamoja ndio ni kitu ambacho azifanani Saudi mkute mtu anikuwekea Saudi amu hapo na Scandi amu huko ana zina hata uhusiano kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni moja kati ya similar ya weakness yake sasa ni ulanzi ya chum that all of the element were discovered you don't acquire gap for undiscovered element yani ile jua gari alipo element zilizokuepo kipindi kile ndio mwisho ambaye ndio mwanasayansi wa mwisho kwa hata gundua wengine wote kwa kuacha table ya discovered element sasa tuje kwenye huyu mwanasayansi mmoja anaitwa Mendeleev. Sema Mendeleev periodic table. Sema according to Dimitri Mendeleev, who studies only 63 elements, huyu alisoma tu element 63. Sema the properties are hello aliyotumia ku arrange element anasema the properties of the element are periodic function of their relative atomic mass. Ndio hii law alitumia Mendeleev. Sema when the element arranged in the order of increasing relative atomic mass all of the element have the same properties fail on the same vertical column this vertical column are called the groups kwamba huyu mende hivyo anaja niongezea tu kwamba zile vertical column ndio hata size tunatumia vile vile kwamba zinaitwa group na horizontal rows are called periods kwamba kwenda hivi zinaitwa periods na kushuka hivi zinaitwa groups I like new new lands mende lives left gaps kwa some element which are not yet discovered shortcoming of mendeleev periodic table asa hapo ngo niweke vizuri hiyo hiyo mendeleev law aliyotumia hapo hapo nadhani hapo hajaiweka vizuri kwenye hizi notes asa kuja law ambayo inakuwa ni common ambayo ni ndivyo ilivyo kulikana na reference nazo zetumia anasema properties of an element a periodic function of their atomic mass ni vile vile kwamba yale tumia atomic mass ku arrange element sasa kwenye ku arrange element hapo tuje kutuone alikutana na weakness gani mendele shortcoming of mendele periodic table ndio hizo hapo chini kama the order of few element have to be reversed in order to fall near their respective group for example Tellium 
hizi relative atomic mass ya hii hapa 127.6 and yao dine hizi relative atomic mass ya hii 126 thus in mendelev periodic table iodine should come first should be in group 6 however i don't have the same properties in as oxygen and sulfur sasa akwa akialenge hivi mara ajikuta hapa kwenye group 6 ambayo ni hii hapa kwenye oxygen na sulfur kwa hapa chini na uja napata iodine sasa kulingana na hivyo sasa hiyo inakuwa ni weakness hiyo iodine haililingani na properties yote na oxygen wala na sulfur sasa hiyo ilikuwa ni moja kati ya disa hiyo dismality ya mendel periodic law sasa zazi in mendel periodic table iodine should come first hapo tayari hapo akaja katoa mfano mwingine wa algo na potassium kashamu na nickel na thallium na palladium sasa tuje tuone kitu ambacho modern periodic law by huyu anaitwa Mosley anaitwa Henry Mosley huyu jamaa hapa anaitwa Henry Mosley ni wajuzi juzi tu hapa sio mbali sana miaka ya tisini tu hoja kaalenji hii periodic table anaitumia size ya miaka ya tisini tisini tu sema the law states that properties properties of chemical properties the properties of element a periodic hii nadhani hapa kuweka sawa the, the properties of element a periodic function of the atomic number kwamba kwenye modi, modern periodic law kuja kuangalia hii tunavyo group element kaenda na atomic number kwamba hapa atomic number ni moja hizi element ya atomic number ni mbili kwa zile number of proton ndio tunachoongelea hapo tunachoongelea kwamba number of proton ndio ina arrange zile element hii ina, ina avoid ile repetition ya element is kai same moja ambazo hazifanani sasa so it is say the chemical and physical properties of element will repeat periodically when is element arranged in order of increasing atomic number all of modern modern classification are based on the modern periodic law sema tellium atomic number 53 is light and the light of coming before iodine atomic number ya msina tatu kwamba hata ukija kuangalia kwenye table hapa iodine iko hapo ya unaona tellium size ndio inaanza afu inakuja iodine sasa huyo tuliona hapo kwenye yule huyo kwenye nandia huyu mendel yeye hapa alianza iodine ndio akamweka chini ya sulfur hapo hapo kwenye tellium namba 52 akaweka iodine na 53 akaweka tellium kwa kuja kuona hii modern periodic law ndio iko correct sana sasa modern periodic system of the element na kuja kuona hapo the modern periodic table consists of se, uh, ile periodic table tulishaona hapo juu kwamba na consist of vertical columns which ambazo zinakuwa known as group na unaoje na horizontal rows ambazo zinajulikana kama periods sema group constitute of chemical family of element that possess similar properties chemical properties the periodic table of element in column and row by sharing chemical properties kwamba hizi kuja tukiangalia hapo kuja kwenye ile group la kwanza and hizi element hizo kwa name ni kama ni group la kwanza zina properties ambazo zinafanana kwamba zia soft hapa kuja kiona watu wote zia soft so they and cannot be cannot react with nitrogen to form hiyo metal nitrite ndio kutapa tena kuna group lingine la kina carbon magroup yote yana hizi element zote hapa zinakuwa zina sifa ambazo zinafanana kulingana kila kama group la 16 au kina sulfur oxygen ya kina livania mwa wote wanafanana sasa ndio tuangalie kwa haraka hapo tumalize introduction causes of periodicity sasa kitu gani kinasababisha ule ule mfanano wa tabia kitu cha kwanza sema the properties of element depend on its electronic configuration particular the outer configuration kwamba ndio sababisha hii periodicity sasa ni ile outermost shell ya electron na ngera outermost shell kwa haraka ni kwamba maana ile level ilikuwa na chola hivyo ilikuwa na chola hivyo sasa sasa na pongela uta most shell hii hapa ndo outer hii hii ndo outer most shell sasa hii outer most shell sasa kama kuna element zinakuwa zinafanana huku mwishoni kwamba zote outer most shell zao inaweza kuwa huko ya kwanza ikawa hivi afu ya pili ikawa hivi sasa ukija kuona kitu kama hicho hii ni element ya kwanza 
ini element ya pili iwe na nani hapo tisa kumi kumi na moja yani iyo ni sodium afu na nyingine iyo hapo ii na tatu lithium kwa ii ni lithium wapo afu ii ni sodium asa iyo periodicity nje ni anatokea wapi asa wakuja wakangala hizi outer electron zote na umoja moja asa tuje tuangalia uko kwenye periodic table zimekaeji lithium na sodium sana kuda zimekase hii moja kwa iyo kitu kama hicho outermost electron ndo inakunya sababisha kitu kama hicho asa the element which is same outermost configuration of similar properties for example nimesha kutolea mfano hapo kwa classification of element nazani kwenye kipindiki tungeshi hapo sabu kafanya introduction tu basi hapo kuna kuendelea huko ndo kuna gani kena zidi kunoga kwa sawa kusubscribe na kushare zaidi kama utataka hizi hard copy au soft copy soft copy t tuna weka kwa shilingi ya fumbili lakini ukitaka kuna zingine soft copy ambazo ziko free kwenye group kule kama bado ya ujajunga kwenye group la telegram shuka kwenye, kwenye link ya po chini mnya show more au onyesha zaidi kwa umeka kiswahili nenda pale tafta group la advanced level ingia pale kajiunge group liko telegram kama wauna telegram wazu kai download tu kwa kama ukitaka hard copy hard copy pamphlet ni shilingi ya fukumi na ukipata ukitaka soft copy ni shilingi ya fumbili kwa hizi notes ambazo natumia kufundishia santeni na kwa ilini